All right, so we are going to go over the five questions. That these questions came from the benchmark, okay? Um, number one, it says, using the chart above, which occupation grew the most between 1820 and 1860? So the question wants to know, of all these four occupations, what's an occupation? That's a job. Good, a job. Okay, these four jobs, which grew the most? between 1820 and 1860. All right, so starting in 1820, agriculture had 78%, okay? 78% of people worked in agriculture in 1820. Okay, by 1840, we have 63.1%. Is that a growth or a decline? Decline. Decline, right? It, decline means it went down. And 63 is smaller than 78. So agriculture went down, okay? went down about 15, okay, and then from 1840 to 1860, it goes from 63 to 52. Is that an increase or a decline? Um, is it going up or down, Noah? What? 63 to 52. 63 to 52, is that going up or down? Down. Down, right? Okay, going down about nine more. So, um, they, it's encouraged that when you get a chart like this, you would write out to the side what what's going on how much is it going up or down so from 78 to 52 it's going down 26 percent okay so agriculture are more people becoming farmers or are less people becoming farmers less people right okay mining started with 0.4 percent so 0.4 percent of americans were miners okay and then 1840 0.6 percent of Americans are mining. Okay, is that an increase or a decrease? Increase. An increase by how much? Mm. How much is the difference? What's the difference between 0.4 and 0.6? 0.2. 0.2. Okay, it grew 0.2. Okay, now from uh, 0.6 to 1.6 in 1860, is that an increase or decrease? Increase. Increase. About how much? One. One. Good. So over that time, Mining has grown 1.2%. Construction, okay, construction and manufacturing both have a dash through it or a hyphen. Okay, what does that mean, you think? They didn't have it. That time. Good, no one worked in that profession at that time. There wasn't anybody working construction in 1820. So instead of marking something or just leaving it out, what do you think we would put in this blank? Zero. Zero, okay, so from uh, 1820 to 1840, we go from zero to 5.1. Is that an increase or a decrease? Mm -hmm. Zero to 5.1? Oh, oh, that's an increase. Okay, increase. But then 5.1 to 4.7, increase or decrease? Mm -hmm. Decrease. Okay, so it went down uh, four, uh, went down four percent, point four percent. Okay, manufacturing, we go from zero to 8.8, .8, increase or decrease? Increase 8.8 to 13.8, increase or decrease? Increase. Okay, so which of them grew the most? Manufacturing, right? We went from 0% in 1820 to 13.8%. So we went up in 40 years, 13.8%. So the correct answer for number one would be C, manufacturing. Okay? Does everyone understand why that's the correct answer? Yeah. Okay, let's take a look at number two. Okay. What was the answer? Oh. C, manufacturing. Okay. Number two from the questions we're going over today, it says the same chart, except for now they want to know what was the greatest decrease. Okay, decrease means going which direction? Down. Down, okay. So which of the following occupations Lost the most people. A. 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 Well, the first one on the chart. It's agriculture. Yeah. Okay, which would also be C oh, on the here. Okay, uh, agriculture went from seventy-eight point eight to fifty-two point nine, so it went down twenty-six percent. Okay, we understand why agriculture is the correct answer for number two. Is that anyone confused by this? Need me to explain it. All right, let's take a look then at number three, okay? This one I thought was kind of a tough question, okay? It says, 
which law would be considered unconstitutional on the basis of First Amendment guarantees? Okay, what does the First Amendment guarantee you? Freedom of speech, freedom of rights, freedom of, or, sorry, freedom of religion, freedom of press. Good. Freedom of press. Good. Okay. Very good. You guys got them all, I think. So we have freedom of speech, freedom of religion, freedom of the press, freedom of assembly. Okay. Um, freedom to protest or petition, right? Okay, so which of these uh, is uh, unconstitutional based on your First Amendment? So which one of these is keeping you from doing one of those things? Okay, so this says a ban on the publication of classified information by government employees. Okay, they're trying to trick you. Okay, because a ban on information would be a violation of what? Freedom of who puts out information usually? Government. Okay, good. The government. Who puts it out in like the newspapers? The you know what that's called? Press. The press, right? So freedom of the press. They're thinking that you would say, oh wait, this is freedom of the press. But there's a key word here. This one here that's boxed in. Classified. Okay, classified information. That's not violating your rights. It's classified because it's the government classifies, right? You guys watch some TV shows where they say, oh, that information is classified, you know? Okay, so that's like the government, they don't have to release classified information because it's like top secret. So a ban on secret or classified information, is that, uh, is that unconstitutional? No. No, okay. So it's not that. Okay, G, a requirement that church employees pay income tax. Okay, so is it unconstitutional? that someone who works for a church has to pay taxes. Is that unconstitutional? Because no, everyone has to pay taxes, right? Yeah. Okay, even, um, if it's uh, a little bit confusing, but income tax, don't worry too much about it. There's not an actually, there actually is not an income tax in the state of Texas, but a lot of states do have an income tax where they take a percentage, they tax you just because you make so much money. So if you make this much money, we're taxing you. Just, but Texas doesn't have that, but lots of states do. It's not unconstitutional for them to tax your income, okay? H, a requirement that churches get a permit before building a new chapel. Okay, do we think that is unconstitutional? Is that, does that go against your first amendment? You have the freedom of religion, so is getting a permit violating your freedom of religion? No. Okay. J. It says a prohibition. What does prohibition mean? It means you can't do. Good. You can't do something. Not allowed. Anyone know what the prohibition was in the 1900s that they put up? Put a prohibition on something where it wasn't allowed. You guys will learn about it in high school in your next history class. But in the 19, uh, like 20s, there was a prohibition on uh, alcohol. Okay, they made alcohol illegal in the United States. Okay, but a prohibition on electing religious leaders to government. So saying that religious leaders cannot run for government office, is that a violation of your First Amendment? Yeah. Yes, right? Because what if they just said, uh, just because you work at a church, you can't run for president. Is that fair? No. No, right? So the correct answer would be J. Okay. J is a violation of your rights because you have the right, as long as you meet the requirements, you're uh, old enough, you have the right to run for office, okay? Regardless of what you do as an occupation. No, I got another one. Okay, this one says, what was the fundamental question addressed in each of these congressional acts? Okay, some of these we haven't covered, but one of them we did. We covered the Missouri Compromise just before we took the benchmark in class. Mm -hmm. Okay, the Missouri Compromise, it says right here, writing it out, it had to do with Missouri and Maine. Okay, what do we remember about the Missouri Compromise? That Missouri was going to come into the United States and Maine was going to come into the United States. Who remembers what they had to, what each of them had to do? Good. Good job, Austin. So Missouri is going to come into the United States as what? A Other way. Oh, Missouri. Okay, Missouri is going to come into the United States as a slave state, and they bring Maine with them, and Maine is going to be what? A free state. Okay, so the Missouri Compromise was, was that if you wanted to become a new state, you had to bring another state with you, 
and one had to be a free state and one had to be a slave state. Okay, so that was the Missouri Compromise. So just based off that information, if you just remembered that from what we covered in class, and it says what was addressed in these three, and you remember, well, I remember talking about the Missouri Compromise, and I remember Missouri came in as a uh, slave state and Maine came in as a free state. So that one had to do with slavery. Oh, H. H, right? Should slave labor be allowed in the new states? Okay? So we already know, just based off the one answer choice that we discussed in class, that H, should slave labor be allowed in the new states, is could be the correct answer. Okay? Oh, wait, I got that one right. That's the black one. Shut up. All right? And... The last one. Okay, we read this long <laughs> quote already. What does this long quote have to do with? What were they Boston describing? Party. Good, the Boston Tea Party. So when you, this is just how you should take notes on a test, right? You read this, you know, 342 chests dumped into the sea, where it says it right there, sounds like what? It Boston Tea like Party. Tea. So you write Boston Tea Party out to the side. You're like, okay, I know this is talking about the Boston Tea Party. So I'm gonna write that down. Okay, the actions described in this excerpt were carried out in order to, okay, so the Boston Tea Party, it was, it happened in order to do what? So that's what the question is asking. Uh, to do what? My oh, start? So like, sounds like tax agent or tax control. Very good. B, to protest British taxation policies, okay? The Boston Tea Party happened because they did not like the, t the tax on tea. Okay, because if you'll remember, who did it leave out? The American the one. Uh, left out the American tea. Uh, starts with an M. Mer emergency. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, you can just pick okay. it. Okay, the, it, it went, oh, uh, it circled around the American merchants, remember? Mm -hmm. Because who was really hurt by the Boston, the Tea Act was the people, if you were an American that sold tea, that now you can only get your tea from who? From the people of the... From the British, right? Oh. <laughs> I think that's even here. What was the response? Do you have the students here? Yes. The dog. And that one too. Yeah, they? <laughs> no, 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 I need those back. I was just asking you. Oh, yes. Awesome tea. Christian is right. Christian's dead. Christian's not here. Austin is. Number five is B. Oh, I got two right. I got two right too. I got one right. I got five and two. I got three.